The operating environment is very crucial, which might affect the lifespan of Mint TLXHUS. Please do not expose the Mint TLXHUS to the environment of direct sunbows, rain, and snow. In order to ensure the machine running normally and easy to operate, please provide adequate space for Mint LXHUS. First of all, unpacking the Mint TLXHUS package, and please check if there is any cosmetic damage or missing parts. If it occurs any of above condition, please contact the supplier. There are the parts inside the Mint TLXHUS package, including there are some connection ports, including loosen the screws on the front cover and remove the front cover. There are some connection terminals, including use an electric drill to open the area for cabling. Please be careful with components inside of the inverter during drilling. Make sure the PV switch is off. Strip 0.59 inch 15 mm of the PV and a battery power cable insulation. And then crimp tube terminal. Tighten the waterproof connector into the PV input port. Connect the wires to the appropriate terminal blocks according to the labels of the terminal blocks. PV positive 1, 2, 3, 4, PV negative 1, 2, 3, 4, PE. Insert the screwdriver and press the release mechanism and open the clamp. Insert the wire into the round opening and remove the screwdriver. The wire is automatically clamped. Connect the wires to the appropriate terminal blocks according to the labels on the terminal blocks. BAT positive, BAT negative. Limit, maximum PV voltage, 600 volts. Maximum PV input current, 13 ampere. Maximum recommended PV power STC, 1.5 times AC rated power. Note, we suggest you use the PV and battery input cable no less than 10 AWG to connect. There is an AC grid port and backup output port from Min TLXHAUS. From the front view, on the bottom right of the inverter is the AC grid connection port for AC cables. The left of the AC grid port is the backup outlet port, which is for critical load connection. We can follow this AC wire suggestion to choose suitable cable. Connect the wires to the appropriate terminal blocks according to the labels on the terminal blocks. PE L1, M, L2 of AC grid. PE load L1, load L2 of backup output. Caution, do not connect the backup output terminal and AC grid connection terminal together. The grounding connector is at the right side of the Mint TL XHUS from the front view. The antenna connector is at the bottom of the Mint TL XHUS. Install the CT on the power cable between the load and the grid. Pay attention to the direction of the CT. From the diagram, open the current transformer first and you can see an arrow labeled on it, which indicates the current direction and the direction of the arrow means the direction from the public grid to user load. First, connect L1 port to L1 line of grid. Connect L2 port to L2 line of grid. Connect M port to N line of grid. Connect ground port to ground. Second, connect L1 positive port O to S1 of CT1. Connect L1 negative port to S2 of CT1. Connect L2 positive port to S1 of CT2. Connect L2 negative port to S2 of CT2. Third, connect A positive port to pin 1 of connector. 
Connect B negative port to pin 3 of connector. Connect G port to pin 2 of connector. Finally, please insert this connector to the RS485 port on the communication board. Insert the CAT56 cable through the conduit to the inverter wiring box. Please refer to the table to make the RJ45 connector. Connect the signal cable from the battery to the RJ45 port on the communication board. If the customer requires the backup power function, ProWap provides the optional ATSUS for our system. We can follow the diagram to connect the ATSUS. Wires are needed before installation. First, for backup load connection. Connect the output TXL1 port to L1 line of backup load. Connect output TXM port to N line of backup load. Connect the output TXL2 port to L2 line of backup load. Connect the grounding cable. Second, for backup output of min TLXH US connection, connect the input EPS L1 port to the load L1 port of min TLXH US. Connect the input EPS L2 port to the load L2 port of min TLXH US. Connect the grounding cable. Third, for grid connection, connect the input grid L1 port to L1 line of the grid. Connect the input grid L2 port to L2 line of the grid. Connect the grounding cable.